for you say producers, iOS musicians, iOS users in general. Want to know how to stream content from your iOS device to a YouTube or a Twitch lag free? Want to be able to broadcast your music production sessions like the FL and Ableton boys do lag free and with real time audio? Come, come, I got you. I got you. Come on, let's get into it. So start with a disclaimer, this video is only going to apply to the later generation iOS devices, those with USB-C ports, I can't speak on those with the light imports, so I'm sure there are videos out there that can help you with that. So what you're going to need for this of course is an iPad, you're going to need to get yourself a USB-C hub, one that's got a dedicated HDMI out port and 3.5mm jack. You're going to need a HDMI cable, you're going to need a 3mm audio cable, a USB video capture card and of course you're going to need a computer as well to make it all happen. So let's walk through all the hardware and physical connections first and then we'll jump onto Stream Labs and I'll show you how I set that all up ready for streaming onto a YouTube. So I've got my 2021 M1 iPad hooked up to my USB-C hub, let's follow the sleeve down. As you can see stuck onto the underside of the desk and as I mentioned you're going to need a dedicated HDMI port and a dedicated 3.5 mil jack. So for the video out, I've got the HDMI cable going out from the USB-C hub. It's connected to this USB video capture card, which I picked up from Amazon for around about 16 pounds here in the UK. And that's plugged into the PC. So with this, I'm able to capture real-time lag-free video from my iPad directly into the PC. Before going with this option, I did try a number of apps but unfortunately a lot of these rely on Wi-Fi and wireless connection which isn't as robust and reliable when, especially when you need to be streaming. Hopefully it's clear for you but this is the 3.5mm cable going out from the dedicated 3.5mm jack in the USB-C hub and I've got that plugged into the line in port on the back of my PC. Not the mic port but the line in port. This allows for audio signal to go out from my iPad directly into the PC via the line in separate from the HDMI audio and I'll explain that. So it took me a bit of time, a bit of trial and error to work out iOS's audio routing logic. In short, HDMI will override USB audio, but analog at the 3.5 mil jack will always override the HDMI audio. And to make sure that that is happening, anytime I hook up the hub to my iPad, just make sure that I disconnect and reconnect the audio cable. Now, another problem that I encountered with HDMI audio out is that there's a serious lag in the audio that you're getting from the iPad. Now obviously when I'm making my music I want to be able to hear what I'm making in real time while I'm also giving you that real time experience and it's near on impossible to achieve that going out from HDMI audio. So to get around that I've got myself a headphone splitter. On one leg I've got the audio cable going into my line in the PC for Streamlabs to pick up the audio and on the other leg is where I plug in my headphones so I'm getting real time audio when I'm making my beats and you're also getting the real time experience as well. Zero lag. Let's jump into Streamlabs now and I'll show you my settings for getting yourself ready to stream onto a YouTube or a Twitch. So we've got all of our connections in place, hooked up to the iPad and the PC. We're in Streamlabs now. This is what I use personally to stream out to YouTube. Let's get the iPad screen visible in a scene. So to do that, I'm gonna to wanna to add a source. Now I've already got these sources set, but I'm gonna show you the process for adding them. So we're going to adding a new source because this iPad is connected by a video capture card, a USB video capture card, I'm gonna select this as the source, and add the source. And as you can see, I've already created an iPad screen source previously, but if you wanted to add a new one, you toggle the add new source instead, switch, add source, and then you'd find your capture card device in this list. Of course, because I've already created one before, it's not gonna allow me to duplicate that as a second uh, capture device source but this would be the dialog box where you'd select that video capture card, which would then show your iPad screen. So if I was to go back to selecting a source, video capture card, and I selected my iPad screen, added that as a source, you'll see that I now have the iPad screen available. Now let's shrink this down to size so you can see the rest of my desktop. So that's your iPad screen visible. As you can see, as I'm moving around on the iPad, 
you see that happen on the screen as well. Let's add the audio from the iPad now. now I've already got my source set up for iPad audio, but let's set that up. If you remember, we connected the iPad to the PC using the line in cable. So for this, we're gonna to need to create an audio input capture source. You can add the source. And as you can see, I've got iPad audio already, but if you wanted to create a new source, if this is the first time doing it, we toggle the add new source instead, switch, add a source, and then we select line in. In my case, line in appears in here because it's now an active port that is being used. If you've chosen to plug it into another line in port or a mic port, that port will become available in this list for you to select from. But again, of course, we've already got the iPad audio selected as one of my sources. So I'm going to delete this one that I've just created. And the iPad audio should be there. So let's, uh, let's hear it. So that's the iPad audio coming up from the iPad directly into Streamlabs, lag free. And as I mentioned as well, where I've got my headphone splitter, in the second leg of my headphone splitter, I've got my Audio Technica is connected now so I can hear the music playing in real time through my own headphones and it's also playing out in real time to you guys on the live stream. Now to make sure it is playing in real time and we're not seeing any lag between the visual on the iPad screen and the audio, for example, me hitting a pad, we need to go over to our audio settings. Open up our advanced audio settings in Streamlabs. The audio channel we're concerned with in this case is the iPad audio channel, that line in going into the PC. And again, through a lot of trial and error, I found that 150 milliseconds is the best offset time for your iPad audio versus the actual visual itself. This ensures that when I'm playing a pad, my audio is not out of sync from what you're seeing in the video. To the right, you see tracks, and this applies to recording methods. So for me, I set up my track one, which is also my streaming track, um, to have all of my audio go through it. So my voice and beat make free audio. Track two, I have just my voice going through that and recording to that. And then track three, I record the beat make free audio too. And this allows for flexibility when I'm doing edits post live stream and just in general, having multiple tracks and dedicated tracks allows for more flexibility in the editing. So that's it guys, visual and audio from the iPad through Streamlabs, ready to stream out to YouTube. Of course, where you're seeing my camera here, that's my phone hooked up to my PC. For that, I'm using a software called E2E Soft IV Cam, which allows you to use your mobile phone as a webcam, which is pretty handy, saves me having to spend money on a DSLR camera. And plus the cameras on phones these days are pretty decent anyways. So yeah iPad audio and visual, get out there, start streaming your music production sessions. If you've got video editing sessions you wanna do, or you've got graphic sessions you wanna do, where you just wanna make sure you're getting that no lag, zero lag streaming quality from your iPad through to a Streamlabs and out to YouTube, this is the method for you. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. And yo, if you do find success in setting up your stream following this method, drop a link to it in the comments. Let me check it out. If you have liked what you've seen today and you are a music producer, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my older videos and stay tuned for more live streams and more tutorials coming. As always, keep cooking.